I want to talk to you today about wood ash and biochar. So we have started burning wood as our main source of heat in our house for the first time this year on Copperhead Road Homestead. And the house that I grew up in, we also heated with wood. It wasn't really a farm like this. I don't really remember a whole lot about what Papa did with the wood ash. However, I have done a little bit of research since I started using wood and heating with wood, what to do with this wood ash. What I have is not only wood ash, that's what this gray stuff is. It's still a little warm actually. I've got a lot of this biochar too. It means that I didn't use all the wood, the firebox is kind of small in the wood stove that I use uh, so I've got to get rid of it I've got to scoop it out in order for it to be efficient in order for me to fit more wood in there and in order for it to burn well but what do I do with this uh, there are several things you can do with ash you can make soap out of it you can clean with it uh, and you can use it in the garden if you have some really great uses for wood ash that you have used it for or you've seen used before then I would love to see you comment down below and hear what you have to say what do I do with it well we have a lot of livestock here we have the chickens up at the pond that Nan and Papa take care of we have the pigs over here here I do most of that and then there's kind of a more of a joint effort with these cattle but they're up close to where we live on the property I have uh, taken a couple of buckets of this and I've given some to the pigs and I've given some to the cattle because uh, sometimes they'll chew on this charcoal and it's really good for their health in a lot of ways and I don't know exactly all the things that it does for them Papa said after I told him that I'd been feeding it some to the pigs and the cattle that uh, he takes some activated charcoal because when you fast uh, all those heavy metals that are stored in your fats are uh, starting to be released and they've got to go somewhere so they either store themselves in your fat again or store themselves somewhere else in your body or they can be expelled with uh, activated charcoal so he takes an activated charcoal pill every single day some strawberries you want to show them back up a little bit and show them she just came from the high tunnel and she had to show me that she found a strawberry and what are these two peas sugar snap peas it's producing for us this is december and she's getting some peas and some strawberries it's still producing it hasn't got below freezing in there yet anyway uh it's really great great for you. It's even great for human consumption. A little bit of activated charcoal. I wouldn't recommend you taking a bite out of this. It won't hurt you. I can't film the rest of this. I should go rinse it off. I'll go do that real quick. It's all gone now. I just got a whim to do that, so I did it. What I read online was that there's a lot of people who are concerned about cattle and cows and stuff and the methane that they produce. I don't really feel like that's a big issue whenever you've got them spread out like we have in the pasture, silver pasture in the woods and stuff like that. It's more of a problem when you've got them on huge feedlots and they're really close together and you're just giving them all their feed. They're not foraging for anything. They're not grass fed. But uh, when there is a problem with the methane, uh, it reduces the amount of methane that they produce reduce whenever they have activated charcoal. Now I've given them some before. They didn't seem like they were that in, into it. I'll probably film this over two days. I'll give them this today and then here in a couple days I'll give some to the pigs. In advance I'm telling you that this video is going to be shot over two days. Let's take it over to the cattle. So the easiest way to get out of this pasture over here is up there at the corner. I'm being a little lazy right now. I don't really want to walk up there. Plus whenever I walk in here with a bucket uh, the cattle and especially the billy goats get right underneath my feet. So I sketch scattered it over there just past the gate last time. I'm going to scatter it over here this time and it's going to be on the ground. Since I'm going to spread the ash in different places every time, it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to hurt the soil. Uh, and then the biochar that's left, the cattle might eat. So let's turn around and do this. So there's a lot of ash in that, uh, but there's also those little bits of biochar that I showed you that I bit into just a moment ago. They're gonna come over here and sniff around at it a little bit. This is Cookies, the black cow. Her baby over there is a bull calf that's now a steer. Uh, on the other side, he's the black one. He might not get in frame. His name is Cream, so Cookies and Cream. That one right at the corner of the frame, uh, her name is Pumpkin, and then Junior is right there uh, as well. So Pumpkin, and then there's Junior. So they don't seem to be too interested in it right now, but that's okay. They can just come and get it as they want to. If they want anything, they can get it. If they don't, they don't have to. That's Cinnamon right there. And her uh, bull calf is a steer now. Uh, his name is Toast. 
<laughs> they think I'm supposed to be giving them grain right now. I only give them some every other day. We just gave them a new bale of hay today. Um, it's lasting a little longer in the hay cradle. It's over here if they want it. If they don't want it, they don't have to have it. It'll just go away, uh, but they, they have it here. There's actually one that's still smoldering right there. Well, let's see what the pigs do. I've got another bucket full of ash, ash and biochar. I'm gonna take this over to the pigs so you can see them eating it. Hey. <laughs> Here's Mrs. Copperhead Road. I thought I'd show you on the way over here. I got the rest of the sorghum here and uh, got it all mowed and cleaned up. So looking pretty nice. Clean up over here all the way. So we might put a bed over here. So I put some hay over here because this had been, uh, you know, this wasn't good enough to feed to the cattle or the goats or anything. And they've got it all spread out, uh, or they have been spreading it out. When I give them a little bit of grain, <laughs> when I give them a little bit of grain every day, uh, I scatter it, uh, you know, scatter it through here. But here's the biochar. You can see how they like it a little bit better. I really don't know all the benefits of it. I just had another bite of it actually. So Chad and Mrs. Copperhead rode what was going on there that we could eat it. They use it for medical stuff, don't they, uh, Rua? Actually, it's charcoal. Yeah, that's the same stuff, isn't it? What do they use it for, do you know? Uh, poisoning. Yeah, so if they get any toxins in their system, then this will help uh, you know, catch it and flush it out. But they also use it in face stuff. Yeah, like beauty products. Their insides are beautiful too. They're eating it really good. And then the ash that's in here mixed with it, uh, it'll go into the soil and make this, you know, richer. Uh, we're probably gonna have them in a different area. I haven't been rotating them around quite as much because I've been doing some other things, but I'm gonna start rotating them again and we'll do something else with this area this next spring, hopefully. Like a gazebo. <laughs> if we get a gazebo, it'll be closer to the house, don't you think? Yeah or closer to the pond one. They are eating it. The cattle, I whenever I put it out there, I didn't see them really eating it at all, but it's available to them. Does that mean uh. they're deficient in nutrients? I don't know. Does it? Does it mean that they're deficient in nutrients? If you know uh, about this, a little bit more information, then comment down below. These are uh, no antibiotics, uh, no hormones, nothing like that. Uh, we don't do anything for them except for, uh, you know, I've never really wormed them. We don't do anything for them except for, you know, uh, move them around and then now giving them this charcoal. If you like things like this, uh, you know, let us know. It really does help us if you subscribe to our channel, if you hit the thumbs up button, if you keep on coming back when you subscribe hit that notification bell select all so you never miss a notification and keep on coming back we do a new video every tuesday thursday and saturday we have been doing a live stream but we're considering not doing that anymore if you really like the live streams and want us to keep doing that then comment down below as well but uh <laughs> Rua's scared of petunia he bit me once. until next time bye, bye.